hey everyone and welcome back to another clean motivation video in today's video i am doing hygiene cleaning of uh, a combs uh brushes hair brushes and two of my makeup brushes my daughter and i we have like natural hair i'm trying to build up some dreadlocks my daughter has dreadlocks and um, um, whether it's loose or it's in a style form we do use brushes on our edges and therefore that accumulates a lot of small little hair caught up in the bristles of those brushes and then there's a comb um, I think my boyfriend uses that most of the time and it can get dandruff and small hair as well there and then I have an eyebrow eyebrow comb which is just there for me to just clean out dust and i'm going to use the end of that um the the tail of that eyebrow um comb to just um try and remove hair from that uh, black uh brush over there because it can get stubborn um to remove the hair from that so that usually helps me out the two makeup brushes is just um it was just in my um makeup bag and just collecting dust i'm not a makeup person i think i used makeup or used to wear makeup during my 20s in my early 30s and then i just stopped so if one day i want to go back to it i just want to make sure that the brushes are clean and I, I can just store them away whilst I decide if I want to go back or not. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today.
I am done cleaning the brushes and the comb and they are hair free dandruff free and anything else <laughs> um basically i was just taking out hair um from them before i start cleaning them and that is what i'm going to do now i just went to the kitchen to go and get hot water and on this day i there was no um there was no proper soap that I could use in the house um, like there was no sunlight soap which I prefer to use uh, the dishwasher so I went into I think there was um, a handy handy but not, the, not like the original handy handy some fake something <laughs> and I didn't want to use that and I didn't want to use a powder soap for clothing as well so I went into my boxes my storage boxes and I found a dish soap that I use to use uh, for dishes this container and there was a little bit of um, dish soap in here so that's what I'm gonna be using to wash these um, brushes with um, hot water and after I am done washing them what i will be doing after this is um i think i will be using hot water as well to soak the brushes and the combs and i will be using vinegar and baking a soda or bicarbonate of soda so i will use those and those two products and i, I will just let the combs um soak in there for 20 15 to 20 minutes and then after that i will just um rinse them out and then just take the just take everything out and let it uh dry basically um yeah that's what i'm going to do right now <music> the hair um hair hygiene tools and now we are moving on to oral hygiene and i honestly don't know where my progress with toothbrush was but i carried on with my daughter's and my own toothbrush and i will be using uh, vinegar again and uh, bicarbonate of soda this is what i do uh probably once a month sometimes after two months but this is what i oh, i've always done um for many many years now and this also saves me in terms of um money as well guys because i think um 
in the olden days oh well i think the, that is still happening now that you need to change your toothbrush every 30 days or every or 30 days every 90 days like every three months i really don't do that i will only change when i see that uh, my toothbrush is changing if it doesn't and i'm cleaning it disinfecting it and all of that and my teeth and my gums are still healthy i will continue using the toothbrush <laughs> um yeah basically that's what i do and it saves me a lot of money because i'm definitely not going to be buying toothbrushes every three months here and yeah that's what we do and um also uh, you know, children can be very messy. Sometimes you will see there's toothpaste stuck on these bristles uh, on my daughter's toothbrush. So that's one thing. I'm just going to let it soak as well. And then after, I'll just clean it with, uh, with a brush afterwards. But yeah, I don't have a specific time of how long I leave my toothbrushes in the water. But um, I think I, I will just, I usually just um, take it out if I don't see any steam or if I can be able to put my fingers in the water and then I take it out then or if the water goes down, then I will usually take them out. So I've never really seen uh, or noticed how long that is. And whilst these are soaking in this water, I'm going to quickly take out the the hair tools the brushes and the combs out of the vinegar and back on the put back cabinet of soda water i think by now they should be fine and i will just take those out and take them out and just rinse them off and the reason for that is sometimes the bicarbonate of soda the vinegar i don't have a problem with uh, the smell will disappear but the bicarbonate of soda sometimes there's a residue that is left behind and it can get stuck on the brushes especially uh the other thing that i wanted is to make sure that the makeup brushes were thoroughly cleaned because i didn't want to have that stuck in there because those have a really, really fine bristles and that is what i'm doing i'm just taking out the residue of the bicarbonate of soda and then i'm going to place all these combs and brushes uh by the window sill and open the window and just let fresh air in and yeah they will be dry by um the end of the day and then i will take them um back to the storage or <laughs> um where they belong basically and yeah by the time i finish this i waited a couple of uh minutes and i took out the toothbrushes and then i did the very same to them as well just to rinse them out and yeah they were good to go after that <laughs>
that is a wrap from this video so after this guys the toothbrushes always feel and taste so good so fresh <laughs> you should really try this um and yeah that is it for this video and to all those that are participating in this year's of october good luck i wish you all the best and yeah just enjoy yourselves and give us some good content because we will be watching and i can't wait to see all of those videos um yeah if you're watching and you couldn't create a good luck to you if you are entering vlogtober and yeah this is it for this video and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye